Welcome back guys, uh, CBD TV, uh, just bringing you the latest on um, my home grow room and um, there's been some changes since the last video, um, obviously the first is rearrangement of plants and that's as a result of this ice plant, uh, um, I discovered it had root rot and that's why its growth has been stunted but um, we managed to get on top of it um, so the biggest problem was is that the water reservoir was clear uh, allowing light in and even though I was changing the water once a week and when I was using the blood and bone nutrients it was every two days but I was still developing root rot so <clears throat> I got rid of the affected roots I sprayed the uh, reservoir black on the outside so that no light can get in and um, I've stopped using the blood and bone nutrients and now using Dutch Master Gold Range 1. Um, a lot of the plants were, were um, appeared to be showing signs of um, some nutrient lockout, um, um, so calcium deficiencies, magnesium deficiencies, sulfur deficiencies. Um, so that's the reason why getting onto the Dutch Masters appears to be the shit. Um, yesterday when I got home as well, I noticed that the, the power was off. Uh, the safety switch had tripped and I got a feeling the power had been off for most of the day, uh, which meant that my plant started to, um, started to think that this was a budding cycle. So my ice plant up the back here is showing signs of very early stages of um, of buds uh, the little white hairs have just popped out of some um, some uh, titties over there um, also yeah I got rid of the lettuce because um, it, it was showing signs of root rot as well so I got rid of that but mind you that was pretty healthy and green and uh, that'll be served up in the next salad so I've got a, a spare spot over here which I've just taped up with um, blue duct tape until um, I can take another clipping. Now the plan was to, t to um, clone the CBD. Um, yeah, just, she doesn't look too well at the moment. See the yellowing of the leaves? That's a sign of the, uh, I don't know if it's root rot as well. Um, it, her roots look awesome though. They're white, white as, but um, yeah, she's coming along not too bad. Um, you can also view my grow on um, weedlog.com under gutted possum. You should be able to see some progress in there. The, the ice um, clone is going really well now. The new growth is yellow and all the posts that I've um, consulted seem to think that that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's no problem for new growth. So long as it's um, turning green, uh, which it is, um, you can see some of the earlier growth was getting some twisting, that's some um, nutrient deficiencies, but with the Dutch Master 1, that should be all sorted out now. So I only put the Dutch Master 1 in last night at about uh, 8.30, around that time, so really hasn't had a lot of time to adjust. Um, so we'll see. Uh, how we go in 24 hours but uh, as you can see temperature is 70 uh, degrees Fahrenheit in here 48 percent humidity and um, those the water temperature is quite cool which is um, apparently good for uh, oxygenating oxygenating of the roots so you can see yeah I, I ended up adding a um, an air stone um, to the system because apparently you've got a, a add oxygen to your deep water culture system for the roots to grow otherwise uh, if you're using nutrients and no and lack of oxygenated water that's going to lead to root rot as well and of course um, I've got the uh, 300 watt LED light uh, which I had to lower just to allow more light penetration for the for the plants to um, form chlorophyll. Uh, the air pump is on the outside of the tent just in case there's um, uh, too much CO2 settling in the top of the uh, inside the tent. So um, the, um, 
yeah it's um it's getting oxygen from outside of the tent yeah so we're up to geez what it's like day 81 for the ice mother plant um and so i had to cut off of course the the clone came from here so normally it would be this high and this bushy but a lot of the other leaves had to be cut off they were dying that's a result of the root rot um so yeah it's looking pretty dismal but it certainly is bushy but um yeah that's about all i have i really would have expected this puppy to be at um, time for bud <laughs> but we're a long way from that yet i need to get it a lot more bushy probably got another four weeks and this nutrient mix um isn't going to last long either uh, luckily i only have to change the water reservoir with this mix every once a week uh, rather than every two days so i'll be lucky to get four or five weeks out of this bottle and i'll have to get some more but um that's all for me post comments thanks